All right, I'm going to go through this quickly. First thing you need to do, download these two programs. The links are in the description. Go to Shell, right click, Manage, Browse Local Files. This is the folder that you want to get to when you modify the fo uh, files. Let's open the, the first one is Asset Studio, open that. Go to File, Load Folder. Go to the Shell Data Folder and then select. Choose Asset List, Filter Type, Texture 2D, Export, Filtered Assets. Go to wherever you want to save them to. Make a new folder called Original or whatever. Uh, yeah. And then make another folder called Modded. In the original, double click the original and then select folder. So now that's exporting all the images from Shellshock into that folder. All right, now that's done, it opens up the folder where the images are. These are all the PNGs, the images that you can change in the game. So the first one that I'm going to change is called Sprite, but it's uh, this is the bumpers. So right click, copy, go to the, um, the modded folder that you made, paste it in there. I'm going to do the chopper as well. Right click, right click, copy, modded, paste. We're going to open this one with GIMP. You can use whatever you want. Just make sure you save them as PNGs. That's they don't work. I'm going to select the bumper. Colors, hue and saturation, make it red, a bit darker, yeah. And I'm going to get this bumper. Stretch that out a little bit. Colors, hue and saturation, make it some blue. Yeah, we save that. Discard, discard. This one I'm going to do with Inkscape, but again, you can use whatever you want. I've just found these are just easier for me. I've also got a file that I'm going to use. Make sure you keep the sizes the same. So this is 120 by 120. What I'm going to do is make another box. Copy the size of this. Again, you can use whatever you want. It's not... Uh, Program isn't important. We're going to paste this size as well. <coughs> We're going to align it on this, make it a little bit smaller. You kind of want to match the same sizes if you can. Get rid of the background, select both of them going to export it as the chopper, replace, we'll get rid of that. This bit isn't needed, 
but it's uh, it's handy if you want to know which. You'll see why. You'll see why. We take the name of the the file. We paste it into search for it. Right click, show original file. It opens up this, and that's telling us that this image is in resources.assets. You've got a few assets folders. Some images will be in different asset folders, so it's good to remember which one you're going to be working on. Chopper's in the same resources.assets, so I'm not going to bother doing that. Then open the, the other program, bundle extractor file open this is where you go to shellshock live the data folder we go to that resources.assets where these two are we open that we need to search for both of them so that one's there we go to plugins edit load find these files that we just made we're gonna open it okay okay search for chopper plugins edit load chopper then when we click OK, it's going to ask us if we want to save. We do want to save. Save it in the, you can save it in that same modded folder. That's not an issue. You can't save it where you've already opened it, if that makes sense, but never mind. Save it there. Then go back to Shellshock. The resources.assets. Again, you don't need to do this, but it's good practice. Change that to original. Go to modded, and we're just going to drag and put that in there. So now we've got original and the one we've just made. So now we load up shell. go to the fire range because it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I always choose that one. Obstacles. The bumper. Uh, the circle. We do them. Now these colours have changed. Chopper should now be a smiling face. So, if this worked for you, let me know in the comments. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm also going to be streaming sometimes on Twitch. Uh, so drop by, come and say hello. So that's it. Have fun.